Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford C Max, guys. Uh, that could be any generation Ford C Max, guys. But if you need to uh, program new TPMS tire pressure sensor, let's say you have one that is bad or you replaced your wheels, you need to program them. Stay with us, we'll explain how to do that step by step. All that will be covered in this video today. Now, uh, also we'll have a video how to rewarm and reset the TPMS light on Ford C Max. Check that video if you need help with that. Sometimes all we have to do is activate the sensors so it can recognize them. In that way, you don't even need to replace them. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here in the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. If you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools supplies from and you can save yourself quite a bit of money. So. We guys have a problem with the TPMS sensor on the, okay, uh, on that C-Max, okay, and uh, how you can program them, guys, okay, uh, pretty, pretty simple, guys. Some uh, TPMS sensor, okay, may get really weak, not work correctly. What I recommend, okay, when you buy a car, guys, okay, <laughs> when you buy a car, get your phone out, okay, get one of those machines, it's not expensive at all. Uh, you can even rent one if you need to, but uh, I'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get that scanner form. It works on any car you can think of. We're going to select TPMS. Here we'll select Ford. Ours is a C-Max 2013 model. And <clears throat> now uh, what you can do, you can just uh, scan the sensors, okay, and see their condition as well. I'll recommend, guys, okay, that's uh, scanning a single sensor. Now check it out now. I'll press the button. You come close to the sensor. You need to be about four inches away and this is the information about the sensor it will tell you the battery the voltage is good 12 uh, 12 degrees celsius temperature 30.2 psi pressure so i'll recommend guys okay when you buy a car sometimes uh, just get them right here the number uh, the id number and take a picture of those and have it for your record so in case you go to a shop or anything like that that they damage them you can easily guys program them too much later as well uh, now what you can do okay let me show you how you can program them it's pretty easy uh, you click programming sensor right there copy by activation or by manual input okay we go by activation we're going to select the right front sensor copy okay right there we scan it already uh, what you can do guys, okay, let me show you now. You can go here, okay, and you can actually guys uh, find all the sensors, okay, you can scan all sensors and it will let you uh, scan all the sensors around the vehicle. Uh, you can see ours, we scan the front ones now. That's a pressure. So if we go back, we can do programming, copy by activation. We're going to select front right, this is the one. And now it says keep programming sensor within four inches. Okay, let's put the sensors here now. We're just going to put it here. Okay. Press any key to continue. This sensor, the temperature is 20 degrees, but voltage is okay. Zero PSI, it's out of the vehicle. And it's ready to go practically, guys. Please install program sensor to corresponding tire right front and you're ready to go guys so now programming success you can see it needs to stay just four inches away from that any key to continue yes so that's the new sensor that we just programmed all we have to do practically put the id to match as that one uh, now in some cases that id can be found on the inside when you remove the old sensors you have the id as well so you can match it that way uh, not all of them but sometimes you can do it that way too Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. 